Hey, what's up guys? It's Swobes, but welcome back to more Donkey Kong Country Returns. In the last episode, we went to World 1-1 and did the tutorial level. And we got our banana stolen by the Tiki's. And in this episode, we're going to the King of Kling to hopefully get our bananas back from the Tiki's, even though it probably won't even happen. Now I just did a lot in one breath. For that, I want to show you guys something. Yeah, I just love doing that. <laughs> You gotta agree, that's awesome. Alright, this little piggy right here, um, yeah, Miss Little Piggy, is going to tell us that you can actually hold Z and hold on to these vines. Pretty cool. And just let go of Z to let go of the vines. Alright, let's, there's just a secret up here, but you can't get it, because I don't have Diddy. Let's try it now, and there we go. I usually do a puzzle piece, so, there we go. Let's, uh, keep smoking our weed, keep blowing our dandelion weed plant things. Over here, we're gonna have our, uh, vine things, where we're, uh, in a circular formation. Oh, more banana coins. Gotta get some more banana coins, we're gonna give you a barrel roll. I always get hit by that guy. Whoa, huge piranha plant. <laughs> Why did I call it a piranha plant? I think I'm just a Mario fanboy. Just squash these people. And over here, this piggy's gonna tell you to actually use your ground penning technique. Wall up on those vines. Cool. And this one's gonna tell you to do a barrel roll. Yeah, I had to reference it again. I know, it's gonna get annoying. I should do a have a count for how many times I say that. Whoa, huge bigger prod plant. Huger prod plant. And then that one always hits me. Hold on. Checkpoint. The piggy wiggin is waving his flag in the air. Just throw hands. Cause you know, Miss Little Piggy went to market. She blew her flag in the air. Uh, this, these guys over here are, uh, okay, bye Diddy. Uh, are going to, uh, come out of nowhere. So you want to be careful when you're around them? Because you, you can actually see it. Of course, I had to get hit by that after I said you could see it. Just teabag a little bit. Uh, let's come up here. I have to blow, like, all of my dandelions. I don't know why. They're not called daily lines. What are they called? They're called those... I don't know, whatever I want to call them. Um, one thing I forgot to tell you guys in the last episode is just, uh, is it this walkthrough isn't going to be a 100% walkthrough. Uh, yeah, it... Normally, none of my walkthroughs are ever going to be 100%, but if you're looking for a 100% walkthrough, I suggest you go somewhere else, because, uh, you're in the wrong place. It's, it's even surprising that I can even complete these games, let alone 100%. Let's jump on these flowers to try to get up to this platform. No singing for me. Let's come around and... Whoa! Okay, I guess there's just a secret back here. Wow, that was like the first time I ever found that out. <laughs> so you something new every day. Alright, so... There's more of these guys that come out of nowhere. It's gonna come out of the ceiling right there. And then right here we have to like switch back and forth between the things. And you also do it have to do it up here too, we'll see. Just like that. And I always try to get to this dandelion, but I always fail, see? And then Wow. I always fall down to the bottom after like you try to blow it, but there's like no platform there. I mean nothing come, ever comes out of them. I don't know what the point of blowing them is. It's just a other way. Thank you. Okay, it's been anyway. Something actually came out of it. Bye, Diddy again. We got King or Kung or whatever. I think the finishing barrels up there, yes it is. And we got the now like four hits. What? At least we got Kung. Yeah. And three puzzle pieces. Alright, so, now that we're done with that level, let's advance on the treats up up! That's great, dog. More guys to smash! 
Is it Super Smash Bros? No, it isn't. It, it would be cool if it was. <laughs> oh yeah, don't, I was about to say, what, wouldn't it be cool if Donkey Kong was in Super Smash Bros? But okay, apparently that's our first death of the playthrough. That was a fail. Um, something that I didn't mention, I guess, because I didn't die yet, is uh, did, will you stop hitting me? Thank you. Uh, that once you die, you will go back to the last checkpoint that you went to, and these guys right here, uh. See, they're bigger than the other Tiki's. They'll take three hits to kill. No, I don't want to kill them. Cause I'm nice like that. At times, I kill all these birds though, and kill all the Danny lions. But yeah, sometimes I don't like killing Tiki's. And up here, you have to time that. Okay. Careful. And of course, I fall down. This isn't surprising. Dying too much already. Two deaths in the second episode. It's bad. You know, I've never completed this game before. Oh, a little update. Um, remember I said that I made it to World Six in the last episode. I actually made it to World Seven. Huh? But really, I I'm not good at this game. It it's it's taken a lot of tries to get to that far. Trust me, this game is it's hard as shit. Screw Diddy, let's just go get our K. And actually try to time this right. Ah, uh, whoa, that's a long way up. And then we hit the guy at the end. <laughs> it's because the platform likes being a jerk. Right here, this is kind of hard to do. You have to like, yeah, there we go. Epic music time. Do 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 do. Yeah, if you guys ever played Donkey Kong before, you, you guys know that music and you guys, you guys love it. Maybe you don't. Just go with what I say because I said so. Let's watch out for these guys. Get our O. There's a pointless heart. Like, it's not pointless if you're dying or something. This. Oh, okay. Maybe you. Oh, okay. Alright, uh, this guy. His name's Rambi. Uh, if you guys. I I think he's been in other Donkey Kong games, the other Donkey Kong Country games, and apparently we lost him. But uh, what he could do is if you get him, uh, he, he's not in very many of the levels, but if you get him, and you, you can ram into anything, like by shaking your Wii remote, you know, you usually do like a ground pound with that. But if he even touches anything, it's a one hit kill. Yeah, that's awesome. Except for like fire enemies. You know, he, he has trouble with those. Just try to okay maybe not it's just a hard jump to make right, let's try to get it back there he is I see you can he can break those Ramby bo boxes because no he's Ramby he's the only one that can break him. see even if you jump on him it's a one hit kill for those tiki you know they take three hits for you because you know Nintendo likes making fun of Ramby because he's fat And if you didn't notice already, uh, you lose Rambi when you uh, die. And Diddy too. But he can like break the Diddy barrels. Like if you go anywhere near the Diddy barrels, he just automatically breaks them and Diddy automatically goes into your party. Party, yeah, I'm so used to Pokemon games, aren't I? Let's try not to fall off. Oh, maybe you can't fall off. Rambi, okay. Let's try to get this K. Careful, there. Oh, I was close. All right, fire enemies. Close. Ah, uh, yeah. You can't. You can't hit him with Rambi. But if you want to like blow dandelions or whatever, see, I missed a dandelion there. Oh my god! I gotta go back and get it later. Okay, we actually got calm. Here's the finishing barrel. Uh, you can actually jump off of Rambi by pressing Z. I'm gonna try to do a double here. And yes, it's a double. That's awesome. All right, I want to bring Diddy up to the finishing barrel. Not Diddy. What am I saying? Six hits. It's a little bit better. God, my motion controls suck. Maybe it's my sense of I don't know. Maybe two out of five was right. It's always gonna be like one or two puzzle pieces. I don't know where like any of them are. Alright, so I think this will be the last level for today. Sun, set, shoot. Yes, I said it right. I never say that right. This level is awesome, and you'll see why in three, two, one. Yep, that's right. 
Everything is sunset -y, as the title flies. And it looks so awesome. I love the Nintendo did this. It just, it's just so awesome. Look at that. You can only see the shadows and it's just so awesome. But up here, we're gonna meet a new enemy. And you guys are gonna love this. Just blow the dandelion. You see these guys up here, these bushes? Oh, just come to life in this game, yeah! For the win. This is awesome. Did we, get, did we just get bananas as a prize? Usually you get like, puzzle pieces as a prize if you get all the bananas in a row or something, but... Like, all the bananas in a group, you usually get like a puzzle piece. Oh, here's a nice version of the, uh, Melky Hall Oh yeah. Just love the music in this game. Graphics are awesome too. I mean, God, I'm a let's player. You gotta, you gotta complain about, not complain. You gotta like talk about how awesome the graphics are. Why do I complain about these graphics? This guy's so tough, so much. Especially like these sunset levels. Hey, did that bush just kick me? Bad bush. Let's get our bananas. Guy jumped up. The piggy. Oh, and right here, this is awesome. Stand here. Sunset. Fall in the hole. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh, if you didn't see there, there was actually a puzzle piece, but it went too quick. Whoa. I just recently found out you can actually do that. I didn't even know about that. It's just so awesome. I right, see, we got bananas as a prize again. Like, don't you think there's enough bananas in this game? Like, give us like a heart health or banana coin not bananas I, I wish like in this game you could like trade bananas or hearts whatever you want in for something else like you could trade like bananas in for banana coins or something like that that would be pretty cool so these mini tiki's yeah they don't have our bananas even though the bananas are all over the place and that's cog Okay, can I grab on that? Okay. Hey, you watch it. Yeah, I just stunned him. Just like you could stun enemies just by ground pounding near them. And of course, I did die. No, I don't want to go on that again. Uh, if you do miss that though, you do. Uh, you do get the end. Like. But if you go down there, you do miss the end, so I don't care about that. You, you gotta think, either do I want an awesome sunset and going through lots of rocks, or do I want an end? Hmm. Tough choice. Okay. I love how inanimate objects come to life in this game. Get our G, now we have Kong. We don't have Kong anymore. Aww. Let's make more Kong jokes. Yeah, it's better. They're so awesome, yes they are. You better give me them. And over here. Get past all these guys, they're like throwing enemies at us like crazy. And right here, you can wrap on this, and the dinosaur's mouth opens. Go inside. And inside his stomach, in his ass, is the uh, fishing gun. Put it back. At least he's not bananas. I'm not complaining. Of course, two out of five. Alright, so I think that's gonna about wrap up this episode of Donkey Kong Country Returns. Join me in the next episode, we're going, going to be going to, or, you know, finishing up World 1. Let's try to do that. See you guys then.